May the gods keep the wolves in the hills and the women in our beds. Hey, is this heaven? No. It's Iowa. This is great. I never said to do that. This is great. Hey, Nikki, what are you doing back there? Taking a dump? Hey, Nikki, what are you doing? Hello, sexy monkeys. Welcome back to Sky Gene Experience. I'm Benjamin. Today is day six of 13 days because next week, a week from today, is Friday the motherfucking 13th. And we're not having another Friday the 13th until January next year. So we have a long way. So I'm going all out, guys. So leading up to Friday the 13th, I'm doing all the movie reviews. I'm doing a franchise ranking. I'm having a lot of fun with top tens of throughout the franchise. Um, if you guys have any ideas, I have a bunch already. But if you guys think of any, throw in the comments, and if I have time, I'll sneak one in there. Uh, I'm talking about like hotties, uh, people that I wish didn't die, uh, eye candies, you know, the boys and girls, um, people that play Jason, like the actors, people I would smoke a joint with, people I would smoke a beer with. I'm ranking like the top cops, and then people I hated the most. But I'm having a lot of fun with it, and I hope you guys do also. But right now, this is part six, movie review. Jason lives. For me, I'm sorry about what happened to you and your folks years ago, but no one in Forest Green wants to be reminded of what that maniac did here. That's why we changed the name. People want to forget this was Crystal Lake, and they don't need some kid stirring up Jason shit again. This movie really gives me the vibe of like Halloween 4. So Halloween 4 followed Halloween 3 without Michael Myers, and they really learned like we we need Michael. So in this case, they learned the lesson from part 5 where they're like, oh, we really need Jason. So they brought Jason back, and C.J. Grant plays Jason. He is definitely a top three. Him, Ted White, and Kane Hodder are like my top three. Um, great, great Jason. But he also didn't. He wasn't the only one that played Jason. If you watch the paintball scene, that is actually played by Dan Bradley. Yeah, he played that paintball scene, and they realized he was like too big, too fat. So they're like, no, we need someone else. So C.J. Graham came in and finished out. Um, but no, this movie, I absolutely love this movie. It's right up there. I think all the characters are great throughout this movie. Um, you got a lot of eye candies. Fucking hotties, man. And this is the first Friday the 13th movie where you actually have kids at the campsite. Yeah, think about it. It's actually weird. You actually have kids there while Jason is going around. And this camp is dope as fuck. The cabins are amazing cabins man but this movie definitely gives you the friday the 13th vibe the atmosphere the music is very rock and roll type love this shit though it's weird though because this movie you have no nudity like you don't see any pair of tits not one person smokes a joint up to this point every single movie someone was smoking a joint none in this um but, and it's also the shortest Friday 13th film in the franchise. It's 86 minutes long. So they really like punch, punch, punch. They they do a lot in this movie. And I I really love it. I wish it was a little bit longer. But I didn't realize it was that short till I just noticed it on the runtime. Nikki, somebody's out there. What if it's that guy Jason? I don't want to know. This movie was actually an inspiration for Kevin Williamson, the guy that wrote Scream. Yeah, he took this movie and was like, yo, they kind of like referencing horror movies. Jay I'm going to use that for Scream. And even the director for this movie, he was approached to direct Scream, but he's like, no, I'll pass. And then Wes Craven came in and ended up doing it. And that's how he knew that Kevin Rillison was a huge fan of this movie. And it was a good inspiration because during that process, they talked about that. The timeline is real. It's not really definitive, but it's definitely anywhere from a year to three years, I would say, after the events of Part 5. Because Tommy Jarvis is played by another actor, the third Tommy Jarvis. In my opinion, the favorite, the best Tommy Jarvis actor, Tom Matthews? Tom Matthews? Tom Matthews? Yeah. He plays Tommy, in my opinion, the best Tommy Jarvis. Dumb, bro. She tricked me. She should have stayed in the kitchen where she belongs. Why shouldn't even be allowed in these games? Not a game, life. 
I absolutely love Megan, the final girl, the sheriff's daughter. Oh, speaking of the sheriff, the sheriff, in my opinion, this is the sheriff maker, the Halloween sheriff maker. He is the best sheriff of all fright. So in this movie, you have like the best sheriff, one of the best Jasons. The Jason looked great himself. The cabins, the location was fantastic. The music was that rock and roll. Um, it's a great movie, guys. And you got plenty of dark humor, like the grave tick, the grave yard caretaker guy yeah he's done a few one-liners that will make you laugh but this movie really starts the whole like supernatural super supernatural jason like up to this point you're like yeah he's definitely supernatural but this really supernatural to the point where like um anything goes now <laughs> anything goes it's just he is a he's not human there's no human it plays with that theme the boy who cries wolf or the girl who cries wolf because Tommy Jarvis is like, yo, Jason's alive. And was like, yo, yo, he's just a legend. Go fuck yourself. So it plays with that theme, which I really do like in movies. Um, but overall, this movie, I give a 7.5 out of 10 for a Sky Gene score. It is right up there in the top franchise. I absolutely enjoy this movie a lot. And if you guys want to write in the comments below, what do you guys enjoy about this movie? What parts of this movie do you guys enjoy? Do you guys even, is there people out there that don't like this movie? I am curious why. Let me know. Until then, I am moving on to part seven, which will be tomorrow. And yeah, part seven, that's when that chick goes. She can move stuff around like Carrie with her mind. All right, sexy monkeys. I'll see you later. Remember, if you go to jail, don't drop the soap. Why'd I have to go and dig up Jason? Some folks have a strange idea of entertainment.